Yo, 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 welcome back to the YouTube channel or the Patreon page. It's your boy Robertini the Source, and I am a music producer, but today we are back with another anime reaction. I'm very, very excited as we're about to hop back into the One Piece journey. But of course, before we do all of that, just want to let you guys know that if you're looking for any music production content, you can go to www.iamthesource.com to get any kind of music production. I have a lot of cool beats that I post every week, so be on the lookout for that. Also, I post beats on YouTube every week, so if you're looking for beats that you want to rap to, or if you're looking for beats that you want to use to your video, go ahead, check them out on YouTube. There'll be some links in the description. There's going to be a link at the end of the video as well and of course if you haven't yet go subscribe to the youtube channel that'll be great make sure you also hit the notification bell so you know when i drop a video on top of that i want to give a huge shout out to those who have migrated over to the patreon page there you will get full reactions as well as exclusive music production content on top of that you get also other cool perks kind of like getting access to my discord you're going to access to exclusive video streams and other cool stuff going on. So go check out that Patreon page out. I will greatly appreciate it if you join. And if you're already there, I'd like to give a huge thank you for supporting me. I truly appreciate it. A lot of great content, of course, coming forward. So I'm really excited. So right now, let's get back into One Piece. That's what we're here for, right? That's right. Absolutely. So last time I watched One Piece... Um, we would kind of learn more about Trafalgar Law's backstory. And uh, it was pretty sad, man. His parents and what he went through as a kid, it was pretty crazy. And then, of course, the fight between Doflamingo and Luffy and Law also started. So it was very exciting. And now we're learning a little bit more about um, Doflamingo's brother, Corazon. So that's kind of where we left off. So without further ado, let's hop back into it. And hey, what's up, y'all? This is Big Daddy No More. And let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that better have not spoiled anything you know me never watching these episode uh -huh. names <laughs> thank you luffy for announcing the episodes yes <laughs> yeah i remember we left off at a very intense part here since when can you talk <laughs> <laughs> since, <laughs> <laughs> since always <laughs> Oh, that's right, because he really, he couldn't really talk, and um, I completely forgot about that. Oh. oh. What is... Wow, what kind of... What kind of devil fruit is this? The sound sound fruit? Here we go. <laughs> Wow, that's a dope power. It has to be a devil fruit. Come on now. I'm sorry. I'm just like, whoa. I ate the calm, calm fruit and became the soundless man. <laughs> calm, <or> calm. <laughs> calm, calm. How's that calm? I mean, I guess. So it's a weird name. I would have preferred Sound Sound, to be honest with you. Oh, I was going to say, did he just eat a second devil fruit or something? <laughs> wow. that That's a shocker. So that means he's been using his fruit this whole time. That's interesting to me. Or maybe he just wasn't talking. I mean, that that's true. And... Nobody noticed that he's just smoking in front of this kid. <laughs> Secondhand smoke. It's anime. You already know. Oh, yeah. It's funny. All that suffering and he did not learn one bit. Like, that's the crazy part about this. Like, in situations like this, you would think it would humble you. But this guy didn't change one bit. Wild, right? Oh, 
Oh yeah, Virgo. I don't know if you remember Virgo from. Um... Yeah, I remember him. How's the first course? Wait. You don't remember. Is it, I guess we're learning that Virgo is part of the family. It would make sense. Wow. So Corazon really was like actually good-hearted. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm thinking about all of this right now. Luffy has an, the letter D in his name. So does Law. Yeah. Wow. And it's funny that they're teaming up together now. Mm-hmm. So, I'm. So <laughs> I had to process that for a second. Um. So the celestial dragons are afraid of people with the letter D in their name. Is that what this is about? Yeah, it seems like it. So, and I guess we're probably going to also learn about how Doflamingo became a, um, a pirate? Wow. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Nice one. But can you trust that, though? What I love about uh, One Piece is the fact that you have these really strong characters. Some who can just travel. They really could travel without the need for a ship. But yet they still use a ship. I think that's just so... <laughs> mm -hmm. It kind of humanizes them in a way. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody can get anywhere unless they travel by ship. <laughs> it is a pirate world. Yep, yep. Wow, look at Senor. Knight all skinny and suave and stuff. Wow. Corazon really was out here trying to protect law. That's a real that's a real dude right there. Click. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you that's that's great. Bop beep bip bop bop beep. Yo. Did you see how the snail face changed? Oh, no, that's his personal one, I guess. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Virgo was a dope character. He was pretty strong when he was beating up the crap out of uh, Law and um, Smoker. <laughs> Stop acting predictably like a normal kid. That's funny. Look, it's a big hospital. They'll kill you. <laughs> White lead disease. Damn, look how afraid they are. You see this? God bless everybody who's going through what they're going through right now with this whole virus thing. Every time I'm watching this episode, it's reminding me of that. So, everybody, please stay safe to the best of your ability. White monster. Like, everybody's afraid of, like getting infected yeah but why did they get affected like the family why did they get infected no why didn't he get affected like if it's that contagious oh corazon yeah because it's a special kind of disease that only certain kind of people get from what i remember i don't know if you guys can explain that in the comments um maybe we missed something from those previous episodes because technically you're right, Corazon, if it's that contagious, Corazon should have it at this point. Yeah. But I think it's a special kind of disease that only certain kind of people can get. From my understanding. Right? Let us know. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> Nothing like drinking some nice liquor and booze sometimes after a long day. <laughs> hey, don't worry. We feel sorry too. Yeah, after all of that too, like, damn. I'm strong, guys. No tears yet. <laughs> <laughs> what is that face? Uh -huh. You call me. You call me cross sign. <laughs> He's shocked. I understand. Wow, what a transition. Right back into the fight like that? <laughs> it didn't even give you enough time to like really embrace the emotion of that moment. And I understand. 
This is crazy. Dolphaman was like OP. I know. <laughs> I know. He's controlling those two. And he's fighting Law. I and know. he has a birdcage up. And he's controlling other people. That yeah. doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much nailed it. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Oh, you know this? Wow! Wow! Oh, please, another episode, please. Oh yeah, we got. Oh, um, we got plenty of episode to watch. You know about the rare devil fruits, right? The the logia types. You, you like they? I guess there's rare logia types, but probably rare. That's a good question. Like other types as well. You know, now that we're asking, I guess maybe we can also ask our viewers here. Um, mm -hmm. If you're at this part and you're watching, once again, let's engage in conversation. Like, do, do we know about these rare devil fruits? I think we do because remember, um, we haven't seen them in a long time. I mean, it's been, it had to be at least 100 episodes, but um, what's his name? Um, that guy from Sky P? No, um... Wow, Blackbeard. There we go. Oh, he has one of those devil Marco, fruits. Marco, Marco the Phoenix. His is a uh, um, uh, yeah, a rare type. As well. Yeah, it's the it's the uh, it's a very rare Zoan type. Yeah, uh, fruit. exactly. But uh, also, um, Blackbeard also has one of the rare ones because he has the dark dark fruit. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, so hopefully we learn more about that. But um, yeah, that episode that was episode seven hundred and three. And, uh, damn, they just kept going with the feelings here. And, uh, it makes sense, you know, uh, Law's backstory, that, it's real. It's definitely up there with one of the, the sadder backstories, um, in One Piece. Honestly, most characters have bad, sad backstories, but I definitely putting Law's backstory up there, top tier with, like, Nami's and everything as well. Definitely. Uh, he went through a lot. Robin, we all know Robin's backstory. And uh, it was just cool to see how Law's relationship developed with Corazon. And Corazon is a real OG, man. Just for being there for Law when Law had nobody. And the fact that no hospital wanted to take him. And Corazon was still there. Shedding his tears for Law. I give a lot of respect. And um, after that, it looks like they got right back into the battle. So it's I guess it's go time. So we're going to see how this battle plays out. So without further ado... Let's hop into the next episode. Let's go. <laughs> oop, oop, fruit. Sound like a lot. All right. <laughs> 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 yes. Get him, Luffy. Luffy's really using that hockey. I like it. You know, mad random. They've been fighting Doflamingo for technically a little while. You think this is, fight's gonna be longer than Frieza's fight on Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> That's a really good question, y'all. Because generally, most of these fights in One Piece, they've been they've been not super long, but they haven't been super short. Ooh, third gear. Oh. What did he just do? Yeah, but he, he got the strength of his third gear and then like he went back to normal or did he just like put all that energy in? Uh, look at me. <laughs> like I'm trying to do it myself. He just inflated <laughs> his um, arms so he could break out. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. That makes more sense. Wow. Now, if I'm not mistaken... It was explained that whoever eats the op op fruit and cures the person, that's how they die, right? Right? Uh, I'm not too sure, but he he won't be able to hold two fruit powers. But he doesn't know that he has a fruit power already. Ah, this is tricky. This is really tricky. Yeah, what is he going to do? He's going to have to reveal himself now because he does have a devil fruit. You can't have two. The only person who can have two is um, Blackbeard. Oh. But Corazon should know that uh, Doflamingo is... Um... Well, I don't know if you picked up what they were just saying, but... He was saying, uh, yeah, sorry, guys. The Navy was definitely coming after them too early, 
So he felt like it was a setup. So I think he's very suspicious of him already. Oh, okay. You see this? I keep thinking and I feel, and of course, stuff is going to be explained. Because I was wondering, I was like, he's not going to just go back to the family. That makes no sense based on what was going on. So this makes more sense to me. I gotta say, this backstory is also giving a lot of implications on what's been going on in this whole One Piece world to me. I don't know if, if I'm right about that. Y'all let me know because there's a lot of information being revealed. Especially when relating to the government, even though it's focused on law. Garp! Oh, yes. All these men in their young, uh, in their youngin' days. <laughs> So who was the fleet admiral? We saw him before already, right? I don't know in this oh. time period. I don't know who he is. Yeah, but he's a, the fleet admiral. Well, he Sen was Goku's... the fleet admiral, and now the magma guy is the fleet admiral. But right, before right. that, I'm yeah. not too sure. So I do have a deal with the op op fruit. There you go. It's very interesting kind of writing in this situation because. It's almost like you're trying to anticipate what happens. Since we know clear Ooh, excuse me. Since we know clearly that he already has the up up fruit. And before I distract myself, that's another thing you guys could put in the comments. What do you think about that style of writing, right? In this situation, I think it works very well. Five billion? Five billion berries? Wow. So here's another thing which I'm also very curious about. And once again, this is also another thing you guys can put in the comments, right? Is the Op Op fruit the most powerful devil fruit in this series? Is it the best devil fruit? Because the way that this Op Op fruit operates, it seems like to me this is the best fruit out of any devil fruit in this show this anime big daddy no more do you think this is the best devil fruit no oh damn <laughs> all right <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very op yeah don't, it's don't insane. get me wrong with i that. mean they're five billion berries oh no they're just trying to suck at them that's why oh i see i don't know if that's the actual worth in that sense but oh like sucker them into like selling i get yeah it. yeah yeah they're gonna arrest everybody that's yeah. the idea this is setting up, setting up the beat. His devil fruit's pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. That could be very useful. <laughs> That's like the perfect um, Renaissance kind of like uh, like any like person on a Renaissance mission or an agent, just like, just like what he is who spies on people. What is that people. ability good for? I'm sorry for cutting you off. <laughs> I was just about to say, yeah, that's cool and all, but it's not good for fighting. I mean, in a sense it is, it can be. Well, if you have very good martial arts skills, it could work, right? Yeah, he definitely doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. I have respect for that fruit. No sound. <laughs> <laughs> but then eventually the sound's going to come back. Okay. Now I'm very interested to know if he, if he actually survives this because if this is how he dies, that actually really sucks. I'm really going to suck. Oh, so I originally left them in there. And they all must have left that um, building. Oh, he probably left the building trying to look for him? Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, all right. Oh, I'm a, come on, please. One more episode. <laughs> all right. That was episode 704 of One Piece. And, yeah, uh, y'all. Yeah, that that's... What'd you think of that episode, Big Daddy No Pretty More? Pretty dope. Yeah, it was very informative. I like what's... The backstory is good. Law is a cool character. He went through a lot. I could relate. And it's dope. I can't wait to see what happens next. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um... 
Obviously, I had a bunch of questions, as I always do. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would love for you guys to just put your thoughts in the comments about anything that I have questions about. Um, every time I'm watching animes in general, I'm just going to be thinking of stuff because that's how I watch shows. I'm always in my mind thinking about, oh, you know, what if this happens? So, yeah. Uh, one of my main questions, which is, is the op op fruit one of the most powerful devil fruits? Um, and Big Daddy No More says he does not think so. No. Um, you, it's so you, OP. But your opinion. It's definitely powerful. I yeah. guess it makes sense because we have the Tremor Trevor fruit yeah. as well. And then you also have the Dark Dark fruit. Yeah, the Tremor Trevor Flare, Flare, Flare uh, White Beard's power. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking about. I was like, that power is amazing. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right. <laughs> Just shake the world up. Yeah, so very interesting um yeah man I, I love the fact that we just get to learn more about doflamingo's backstory as well so yeah that's pretty much it and um yeah let's hop into the next episode let's do it <laughs> <laughs> we're back let's go by the way what's the name of doflamingo's uh fruit uh, his fruit's the string string fruit. String string, that's what I thought. Hold on. What's up? No, I was just thinking, uh, was she an admiral? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will find out. So I guess we're about to find out. <coughs> I can ask you another question. Doesn't really make sense, maybe, but... I think Doflamingo knows everything that's about to happen. He's going to do something crazy. There's no way he doesn't think the government's, like, secretly about to try to ambush him. I guess we'll find out. About to find out. Who's this guy? They keep, like, highlighting this kid. Who? The kid that just jumped out the window. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Damn, mad as hell. Alright, Corazon clearly survived, just as I thought he would. Yeah, see? That that fruit is actually dope, because if you're trying to have a private conversation, you just snap your fingers and boom. I like that. Oh, yeah. damn. <laughs> so that's how he keeps it? <laughs> I also find that uh, pretty funny too. I love the fact that these fruits are actually really disgusting tasting. They just give you immense power. So he did get shot, but he just kept going. Wow. Wow. Nope, it won't. We all know that. Oh boy. That's um... Yep. As you guys can see, I'm quiet because I'm just... Oh, it was just a lot. Yep. Wow, he gave it to him. Oh, I can see this going really wrong. Virgos technically works for Doflamingo, right? Yep. Yep. Damn, damn, damn. Damn. Oh no, Corazon knows who he is. Of course. Yep. Ah. Oh. Don't, did you just talk? Oh my god. <sighs> Y'all heard my phone too? My phone goes off at this bad moment? Not today. Putting this away. Oh man. Yeah, this is not going to end really nice at all. This sucks. Ugh. Yeah, Virgo's power is wild. I remember that. Wow, this dude brought his entire family. He was like, I ain't playing Yo, no games. You see the little girl holding the Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's kind of badass. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, at least he doesn't know that um he ate the fruit yet. Oh, birdcage. Wow. <laughs> you all see what I'm doing. I'm pointing at this nonsense. <laughs> ah. And the fact that those strings are basically virtually indestructible. The string straight fruit's definitely up there as one of the most powerful devil fruits as yep. well. For sure. Because this is crazy. I love the music in the background too. It's very ominous. You say you've never seen it before. Yeah, I saw I read that. Welcome to the birdcage. Oh. Oh, now he's doing that. Yeah. Yeah. This is just getting worse and worse. I mean, they're screwed. It just, it's sad because you know it's coming. And it's like, damn. I'm just... I don't know how Law is going to get out of this, but it's going to be very interesting to see how the hell he was able to get out of all this. I think uh, Corazon is going to tell him what to say. Because this is how Oda gets you, man. Once you start liking a character, then you have to do some BS to like get the character out. I'm like, are you serious? I really like this guy. Sad music's not helping. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. That's a little creepy. I'm not gonna. Lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Wow. Not bad. Episode 705. Um. Yeah. Let's see. How was that episode, Big Daddy? No more. Yeah, it was nice, man. Um. We got to see how the Navy got infiltrated. Um. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm surprised Law didn't use his power yet. So it makes me wonder how when when he's gonna have his power active. Or... Yeah, that's actually a question I also had as well. I was trying to save the question because I, yeah. you guys know me, I like to ask the questions while I'm watching. But uh, really, out of all this, is when does um Law start to use his power? I mean, it's so early. He just ate question. the fruit. He doesn't know anything about the power yet, and he's still sick. So keep that out. keep that in mind as well. Remember, um, oh, those um, that saga with what's her name, uh, Robin, when she got captured, mm -hmm. and those two, um, ah, I forgot their names. One of them turned into a giraffe, and the other one was like bubbles. Okay, in Annie's lobby, yes. Yeah, yeah, and it's like Kaku and um, that girl. Yeah, so yeah. they learned. Didn't they learn the devil fruits within the same day? They did, but remember, they were older, they're more sophisticated, they're intelligent. Oh, okay. Remember, um, Law's a kid in this situation. Yeah. He eats a fruit, he does you know, he's a little kid, he doesn't know what to do. And once again, he's also sick. Keep keep that in mind. Fair enough. I, I thought as soon as you eat a fruit, like automatically you gain the powers, like you know yeah. how to use it, like Sabo, like he learned how to do it, but you're right, he's a kid. He's a kid and he's sick, once again. I oh, that okay. definitely is a huge factor, like that that's definitely part of it. And once again, Sabo in that situation, he's older, he's more sophisticated. Like yeah. Luffy technically didn't really know how to use his powers. But either. he was a kid too. Yeah. Yeah. Fair he enough. Yeah. That that would make the most sense. But um yeah, Doflamingo, my God, this guy Yeah. He's that villain right now because he's just doing things that I I never thought a villain could do just to make people suffer man it's mm -hmm. wild out out there right now mm -hmm. that bird cage is insane yeah, and that yeah sense. that that bird cage is insane because like you can't you can't leave like you're stuck like straight up those things are virtually indestructible the only way you can get rid of the bird cage in my opinion you probably have to knock him out that's it mm -hmm. and we already know how strong he is so oh that was intense yeah. and um caught us on man it's i'm really liking his character I like his devil fruit, but I don't know. Yeah, it's tough because Big it's bad like, world. 
it's tough because we know that Coruscant is about to die. We all know this. This was already explained. And now that it's about to happen, you just feel so bad. And as I explained before, it's like, you know how Oda is with his writing. It's like, you yeah, the, the character. Out. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the character that he develops really well. He has a character that he introduced to you really well. And then he has a way of taking that character away from you that really just pulls at your emotions good or bad and uh that's once again oda at his best when it comes to writing so kudos to you oda you did it again for me i really like koda song but you're just gonna send him to his death man that sucks but with that being said we got 26 seconds left i'm gonna let this rock and then we're gonna go to the next episode so with 20 seconds left what else would you like to say to the wonderful fans out there huh? <sighs> I said enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for the next episode, and hopefully the episode after that, and that, and that, and that, and yeah. continue on. But yeah, very. We have a limit today. Absolutely, mm. we're really enjoying this. So let's let's go to the fourth episode now. Yes, let's do it. All right, don't oh, look. Yeah. I heard Law's name. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right, we in it. Let's do uh, it. Let me pause real quick. Just to remind people, I don't look at episode names because uh, this anime in particular, they be saying episode names that basically spoils everything. So Low key that's why I do praying, that. Y'all. <laughs> he bounces head to God. <laughs> oh. Oh, snap. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yo, he's somebody important. I just don't know who he is. Uh, he has a X mark. Yeah, a I scar on his chin. I don't know. We who I've has never seen. I've never seen a character like that who has that so far in this anime. Neither. I won't wow. tell you, but I'll find out. Damn! Wow. <laughs> what you know what's so crazy? He could kill people with his own power but he chooses to use a gun interesting to me yeah he's uh he's a narcissist are we gonna learn how doflamingo gets his strength strength fruit wow and he did say he killed his father too yeah the f wow Wow. What? <laughs> Bro. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. No, are you serious? Listen, there are some crazy kills and deaths in anime. We know Naruto is very infamous with Itachi, but this is crazy. Yo. Toflamingo, you're such a... Hmm. Oh, I was just going to say, they're really using guns? They could just use their devil fruits. Okay. I'm not complaining. Hey, let him escape. But he's going to get caught Gee. eventually. Oh, so Law's in that box? Mm -hmm. Wait, why do, why do you go back to that area? Why you didn't run the opposite way? He was hiding originally because, like, he was, um... He was trying to draw them away from the box. Oh, okay. But that didn't work. Wait a second. Corazon is actually um, Doflamingo's brother, right? Yeah. So Doflamingo kn knows that he could uh, speak already. No, he didn't know. But what about when they were kids? No, he lost his voice. Oh. That's, I think that's what he was saying. Damn. And that's what's crazy about this. He basically tried to um, prevent Doflamingo from taking over Dressrosa, and then he failed. But he's been a soldier since a kid. Yeah. Or well, maybe they jokes. heard him. Where's the... Where's the... Is he going to tell him? The devil fruit. Where's strange wow. coincidence? Oh, that boy that we saw. Yeah. And that's the one secret that they still don't know is that he, he has a devil fruit power. Which is actually pretty convenient right now. 
Wow, so you can give it to someone else. <laughs> Aww. Damn, 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 damn. Ah. Ah, yeah, 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 you have to shoot him that many times. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh wow. That, that explains what happens in Wano. Oh my god. Wow. Pretty good, right? Yeah, but damn. <laughs> Ooh, it just it's just like you knew it's coming. Ooh, I'm surprised I'm not actually crying, to be honest with you. Maybe it's because I'm on camera right now. If I was watching this by myself, maybe I'll be crying my eyes out right now. Who knows? I've definitely teared up when watching this plenty of times. Um Damn. This is what I was talking about, man. Wow. He, Oda builds up a character in a way that you become attached to them, whether in a positive or negative way. And they find a way, and then he finds a way to pull that character away from you in either a positive or negative way. In this case, it was a little bit of both. Positive in the sense that what Corazon did for Law was amazing. Negative in the fact that Corazon is now ceased jeez mm -hmm. oh man um Doflamingo has to be one of the most hated characters in One Piece after this he has to be this guy is the epitome of what you call a straight up asshole jerk I mean we've had some pretty asshole characters before this but this guy is ruthless killed his own f family members killed his own dad killed his own brother he's killed so many innocent people all for his own personal gain that's it's just it's wild um i really don't know what else to say Ooh. um I guess the only thing I can say is uh, I know you guys or not I shouldn't say you guys but um, we talked about that one kid with the scar on his chin if this is a person that I have not seen yet I don't want to be spoiled so you can him. put in the comments if if we've seen this person Big Daddy No More you're saying that I have seen this guy mm -hmm. before are you 100% sure? yeah so with that being said, guys, this person's name is going to be revealed right now. So this is what we're going to do. Because <laughs> I need to gather my emotions and my thoughts. Okay, 10 seconds. Reveal them in 10, 9, 8, <clears throat> 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. All right, I lied. You haven't seen him yet. His name is <laughs> what? Sorry, not sorry, sorry, sorry. what? Really? No, no, no. I'm joking. Oh, I'm joking. Okay. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. Um, yo, I was about to be like, wow, you got me good. No, he's a part of the one of the worst generation. His name is X Drake. Oh, um, mm -hmm. really? Yeah. So it was a while back. Wow. That was after Ennis Lobby, of course. That's when the group. Was yeah, about to get supernovas. separated. Yeah. yeah, supernovas. Yep. 
If if I mean I have a picture if you want to look at them. No, I'm good. I don't want oh, any okay. spoilers. Well, I mean, I'm I, I get it. No, I mean I know what he looks like, but like I like just in case if there's any random information. Hey, very interesting situation with him. So now, just to let you guys know, Big Daddy No More has seen everything up to what's going on now in One Piece. So yeah. like, but you know. it's been a a long time. Since there's been so many episodes, like seeing this, I was like, "Wow, I don't recall this," but I've seen it. Like, wow, l- probably years ago. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Yeah. Yeah, man. That that was uh, y'all knew I had to take off the glasses for this. <laughs> um. Yeah, that was. I'm shook. I'm really shook because uh, I think um, I will also say this. A lot of people always consider Nami's backstory and, and the arc for Arlong Park to be uh, one of the best arcs One Piece, as well as like Eni's Lobby with Robin's backstory. But Dress Rosa, I think, is right now up there for me. I mean, Marine Ford as well. Definitely. A, I mean, come on. This entire anime is fantastic. But <laughs> um, Dress Rosa for me has, de- like, with everything that's been going on, Dress Rosa has definitely now been put on my top five list of best arcs in one piece as of now i still have a lot more to watch so obviously as i watch things will go but everything that's going on right now everything that's developing the way do flamingo is the fact that we're learning so much information about the celestial dragons as well as the government and as well as sad and as well as you know law's backstory and how that really is connecting to just everything that's going on in the anime it's got to be top tier uh it's got to be top tier um at least for me so obviously this arc's not done yet this arc is ridiculously long that's probably the one downfall but if you guys agree with me let me know in the comments now if you disagree i'm okay with that but I want you guys to put a very solid, good, constructive reason of why. I really want you guys to give me an explanation of why you don't think Dress Rose is up there. Let's take away the negative stuff, right? Because I know there's issues with the pacing or whatever. I'm watching the original and I have no problem with it whatsoever because I'm binging it. I totally get it if people are annoyed with this whole pacing and things dragging out forever. But to me, things are, are flowing. Now, maybe for you people who read the manga, maybe y'all are just like, damn, like if, if you thought that was intense, like imagine reading it and reading the manga that way. Mm. I totally get it. Totally get it. But right now, the way I'm experiencing this, I'm loving it. It's putting me in my emotions and uh, this arc is really, it's, it's captivating right now. So I want you guys to just explain to me what you guys think about my opinion in terms of me putting Dress Rosa in top five based on what I've seen so far. Um, I have not seen anything else yet moving on, so we'll see how things go. But uh, with that being said, obviously I'm ending it here. Uh, my, I, I, can't, I can't even think straight right now. I'm probably just ranting on. I'm probably talking too much. I'll say this though, this is I feel like it's about to inspire me to make some crazy crazy beat right now. Like I'm about to make some sad trap beat. I don't know what I'm about to make. <laughs> uh, yeah, word. <laughs> I can definitely feel feel myself going back to the scene for inspiration for trap beat. I definitely feel it. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Um Yeah, I'm gonna definitely end it because uh yeah, there's something really cool going on at like 9 o'clock that I'm about to go check out on Instagram Live. Um, by the time you guys watch this, this would have already passed, but uh, it's going to be T-Pain versus, um, T-Pain versus uh, Lil John on a um, musician's what? songwriter okay. battle. So that's going to be very cool what? to watch. Um, okay. We're looking forward to watching that, so let me get ready Say for that. that <laughs> Lil John, T-Pain. I see. All right. Well, this is uh, Big Daddy No More signing out, and he's about to say what he needs to say as well. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I'm saying. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. Goodbye, y'all. Yeah. Catch um, y'all later. I hope you guys really enjoyed these reactions. Yes. Um, Yes. I really do. As always, I appreciate every single one of you for watching. I'm I enjoying this. It's my pleasure. Um. I hope I'm putting a smile on your face. That's really the goal with this. 
you know, as a music producer, I, I don't want to just be the guy to just, just make beats and hide my face. Um, I just want to show you guys that I'm human too. And that I enjoy everyday things just like any other normal human I'm being. I'm not human. You'll <laughs> never see my face. Yeah, maybe one day. Maybe one day. But with that being said, remember guys, just check all the links. Go subscribe to all the stuff I talked about. Subscribe to the YouTube. If you're on Patreon, thank you. Go check out the Patreon. It's going to be dope. A lot of cool stuff going on. A lot of cool stuff going on. And as always, remember... Don't let anybody ever Don't tell you who you can or cannot be. Cannot, cannot be. <laughs> Throwing me off. Dude, no, you got this. And I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Believe in yourself. Absolutely. And always inspired to be better. Absolutely. Each and every single day. And don't let anybody ever tell you who you can or cannot be. I'm going to repeat that. Always strive to just be yourself. You can be whoever you want to be. It does not matter. If you want to be a writer, whatever. You want to be a producer, be an anime person, whatever. Just be who you want to be. Be the best person you can. So until the next reaction, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. out. It's your boy Robertini, D Source. Love you. Bye. Yeah. This is from the source, of course.